Hey guys, it's Josh Joe Harry again, and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, creating a blockout map in the Unreal Development Kit. Um, blockout map is a great way to block uh, an area uh, without having to use final game media. So the purpose of creating a blockout is basically to get a good sense of the uh, scale and maybe some of the functionality of your level, uh, get a good feel of it without having final game media. Uh, blockout, you know, maps are typically done very quickly. Uh, we don't worry about textures, anything like that. Mostly just functionality and, and flow. So we're going to go from step, uh, we're going we're to talk about all the steps actually. Uh, we're going to start off in 3 Studio Max and Photoshop. We're going to gather some references for a soccer field. And we're going to create a blockout soccer stadium. Uh, perfectly scaled uh, so that when we bring it into uh, Unreal Editor we don't have to worry about scaling anything. Uh, and we're going to set the level up um, uh, set the static meshes uh, in 3D Studio so that they have proper uh, secondary UVs for the light map generation and engine. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, positioning, we're going to talk about using collisions for the blockout map, we're going to create the materials, uh, we're going to throw a play start in there, uh, talk about some lighting, and uh, create a little soccer net and uh, physics ball that we can run around and kick. So I hope you guys uh, really enjoy this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it, and uh, thank you a lot goal behind today's tutorial is going to be how to uh, approach creating a blockout level and uh, uh, what I've done is I've go and gone ahead and uh, created uh, or I found uh, image references of a soccer field so we're going to talk about converting units between 3D Studio Max and Unreal Editor and what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, these references and create a blockout of a very very quick soccer stadium. All right, so let's go into uh, 3D Studio Max and uh, Let's go to Customize Unit Setup and uh, let's set uh, a custom unit. Uh, I, I'm denoting it as UM for Unreal Meters and set it to 133.3 centimeters and hit OK. So you notice that I have a model here already and it's just a cube, uh, but I've scaled it uh, one Unreal Meter by one Unreal Meter by 1.828 Unreal Meters, which is uh, equivalent to six feet tall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this model to the player height model which is also supposed to be six feet this is going to be sort of our derivation uh, to derive the uh, appropriate conversion rate between 3d studio and uh, unreal okay so switched over to unreal um, and just to save some time i've already imported this model i haven't done anything with the scale in unreal and um, we're going to go ahead and compare the size of this to the player height size in game so when I jump in and run around you, yeah, I can confirm that this is just about the player's height, which is uh, six feet tall. Uh, so I'll go ahead and exit, and I'll do one final test to confirm that it's uh, 96 Unreal units, which is what the player height is supposed to be. And holding middle mouse button, I'm able to check the units, and it's exactly 96 units. So our conversion rate of uh, one uh, Unreal meter in 3D Studio Max, again right here, we go to customize unit setup one unreal meter is equal to 133 centimeters this will work perfectly for us all right so i'm going to go ahead and delete this model we don't need any more um, i'm going to refresh the environment and so let's go ahead and look at our reference and see what the size of our field is uh it looks like 60 yards by 100 yards now the conversion between yards and meters is i think uh one meter is approximately 1.09 yards, or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but it's close enough so that I could just assume it's one to one. I don't, I, I don't personally want to go through that extra step of conversion. So, uh, let's go over here and create a new plane. Uh, it doesn't matter right now what the size is, um, because we can modify it here. 60 Unreal meters by 100 Unreal meters, and we'll go ahead and set the length segments to one one and uh, hit Z to zoom out and so this is the size of our soccer field right here and when we import it to Unreal it should import at the perfect scale. Okay so technically this um, blue area here this kind of represents the playable area of the field but if we look at our reference image of the the area that we want to recreate we notice that there's actually more to just the playable area there's the out of balance so there's some extra green grass uh, around the area so let's go ahead and I've actually already created a larger size field. I'm going to go ahead and unhide it. And this is going to be the actual field that we export when it's all said and done. Right now we'll use the, the blue as a reference uh, and I'll show you how we're going to create the, the markings on the field and have them also um, work to scale. Alright, so we know our field is uh, scaled appropriately. 
<clears throat> now let's go into Photoshop and actually draw the field. Uh, so let's look at our dimensions. We know it's a 60 by 100, um, we're going to say meters approximately. So let's create a new image size. We're going to multiply those numbers by 10. So we're going to create an image that's 1,000 pixels by 600 pixels. So the 1,000 uh, corresponds to the 100 yards, and the 600 corresponds to the 60 yards multiplied by 10. Hit OK. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is uh, basically just going to go ahead and draw the field in. All right, so we know that our field um, is 60 yards wide, and the midpoint is about 50 yards in. So we can translate that into pixels by multiplying by 10. So we have 500 pixels by 600 pixels, which is 50 meters by 60 meters. And I'm just drawing a rectangular marquee at that fixed size. And I'll go ahead and edit stroke that uh, with two pixel stroke. And there we go. And let's do it again for this side. And uh, basically what we have is now our midfield line with uh, our out of balance lines drawn in. I'm kind of kind of use this method and just uh, skip ahead and draw the entire field and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so after laying some references on my image, I was finally able to create this soccer field um, line diagram. And so what I'm going to use this for is uh, I'm going to lay this out basically on my field here. And how I'm going to do that is actually first by converting this texture into a square texture that the game can read. Because as we know, this uh, image is a, not a square resolution. It's 1,000 by 600. So we can't technically import this image uh, into the editor yet. All right, so the easy solution is to actually go ahead and create uh, a new texture. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new 1024 by 512. And uh, give it a black background. And I'm going to copy this image and paste it in here. And we're going to have to scale it uniformly. So holding shift, we can scale this image uniformly. And I'm actually going to give it some buffer um, space um, along the outside. Because we know that the field is a little bit larger, uh, like I said, um, than, the, uh, than just the playable area. So uh, this is scaled uniformly. And I hit Enter. And uh, so here's, here's my field texture. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this now. Uh, I'm going to call it soccer field underscore mix. Uh, it's a mix map, uh, or it will be at least. And I'm just going to leave it as a PSD because the engine imports PSD is just fine. Okay, so I'm going to switch over here and I'm going to go into my material, and I'm going to grab that material that I just or that texture that I just created, and uh, it is my soccer field underscore mix. Hit OK. Make sure that um, this is selected so that we can see it when we apply it to our field. And uh, let's go ahead and first of all, we need to make our field dimension match the same dimensions as our, uh, or the same ratio uh, uh, as our uh, field texture. So uh, right now I have the length at 80. Uh, I kind of actually like that. So I'm going to change my width to twice that since that's what my dimensions are for the texture. And now when I pull my texture and put it on here, we now have a uh, soccer field. We can render uh, this, and we notice that the blue area is the actual size that the field needs to be, and we are a little bit larger than that. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and scale the actual um, field down to match the size of our field. And uh, when I do that, let's go ahead and render it again. Looks like it's matching the field pretty well. It's a little bit smaller now, so I'll just you know this is all just skin, you know by just by uh, perception. And uh, let's see, I'll move it over a little bit so that it's just perfectly matching. And uh, looks like it's looks like it's perfect now. All right, so we don't need this uh, material editor open, and actually we can get rid of our reference now. And uh, all we're left with is our field. And uh, so we'll go ahead and again render this. And uh, when we bring this into Unreal, the soccer field should be the exact size of a soccer field. All right, so in wireframe, I'm going to add some length segments. So I'm going to add 100 length and 100 width segments. And I've added a displacement map using our soccer field mix. And so it's taking the black and white, and it's using the white to displace the, the field. So basically what you get when you render this is sort of uh, the field or the geometry being manipulated by the texture. 
and we can uh, you know reduce the strength a little bit I just want it to be a really really subtle effect that way the field doesn't just look completely um, flat I think that's kind of boring so that's that's kind of nice I'll leave it like that so I'll go to my smooth view again and uh, basically I'm ready to export this uh, at this point so let's go ahead and save it uh, save the max file and I'm just gonna call it soccer field and uh, I'm going to give this plane uh, a name called soccer field underscore SM because when we export it, we export this guy soccer field. We're going to give it the same name. Make sure mesh deformations materials, well, all the default settings are applied, and uh, we're good to go.